Hi and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of March 7, 2022. Overall, I expect this to be a down week for the markets and Thursday looks the worst. In terms of specific important transits this week, from March 7 through 16th, we will have Venus and Mars in conjunction moving into Aquarius. At that time, expect increased focus on the value and profits from IT, telecoms, airspace, high-tech, airlines, drones, AI, robotics, electronics, and really any gadgets or vehicles that either move fast or are powered by electricity. Also, related sales, contracts, negotiations, etc. that might take place at this time may end up being afflicted by some conflicts, surprising abrupt cancellations, accidents, or experience difficulties due to the power outages or service outages, especially around March 21st through 23rd. That is when Mars will move away from the conjunction with Venus, which of course symbolizes things like money, profits, sweets, peaceful demeanor, and will form a disruptive square with Uranus. And Uranus, of course, symbolizes things like shock, sudden breakdowns, power outages, volatility, accidents, and all kinds of unpleasant surprises. Additionally, as Venus and March will remain in conjunction through March 16, expect increased focus on weapons, their regulations, sales, deals, especially involving airborne crafts or weapons, and regulations involving sports, that means athletic equipment, race cars, teams, athletes, coaches, etc. The value and profits from weapons or sports, again, especially involving something that's risky, like racing or fighting, are likely to rise. Other areas that may also see an increase in prices or profits include IT, telecoms, electronic vehicles, batteries, chips, energy companies, power plants, high-tech, as well as financial sector entities that heavily use advanced technology or involve cryptocurrencies. Also during this time, there's an increased probability of some surprising or possibly upsetting news involving airlines, airspace, drones, rockets, so that could be rocket strikes, airplane malfunction or accidents, as well as strong storms, even lightning storms that can cause fires. For the US on March 7 and 8, I expect increased news about monetary policies, changes in the value of USD, as well as about gold and silver. We may hear about increased sales volume, changes in contracts and policies. The value or sales of gold and silver may go up. These expectations are based on the transit of Mercury to US Moon in the third house that has to do with commerce, as well as on the conjunction between Jupiter and Sun at this time. On Wednesday, March 9, transiting Moon is going to cross into the seventh house in the US chart and cross over its natal Uranus in Gemini. At that time, I expect increased focus on partnerships, sales and agreements with international partners. The events may unfold really fast and involve some rapid communication, IT, telecom, social media platforms, high-tech airspace, airlines, electric vehicles, electronic devices, and things of that nature. On March 10 and 11, Thursday and Friday, transiting Sun is going to approach Neptune and Pisces, and both of them are going to oppose U.S. Neptune as well as square U.S. Mars. At that time, expect increased focus on oil, gas, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, navy, beverages, excessive precipitation, floods, foggy weather, poor visibility and unclear communication. Also, there's likely going to be increased news about military and sports activities, especially anything that involves extreme sports, racing, fighting, and dangerous or risky activities. We may hear about disruptions, leadership changes, negotiations, and increased sales or deals. Due to the difficult nature of the transits, that is, Sun and Neptune are going to be opposing U.S. Neptune and then squaring U.S. Mars, we can expect that agreements, sales, or deals that are reached at this time are going to be disruptive for industries related to oil, gas, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, beverages, navy, fishing, maritime transportation, etc. Pretty much anything that's related to Neptune. For example, a deal may be reached too quickly, such that the details, maybe about the price or timeline, remain unclear, and this uncertainty may spook the investors. 
or perhaps the deal is seen as too risky and it may cause concerns about the long-term stability of the contract or price volatility. We may also hear about some confusing or unclear situation that involves oil, gas, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, navy, etc. that may have an upsetting effect on some deals related to military or sports. On Friday morning, transiting Moon is going to be going over Venus in the US chart and transiting Mercury is going to be trining it. US chart, Venus rules 6th house of things like health care and governmental contracts and is in the 7th house of partnerships and agreements. At this time, there may be some positive news about the workforce, healthcare and government contracts that support healthcare providers, pharmaceutical companies, construction companies and food producers. For example, we may hear about more contracts being awarded, profit is increasing and employment numbers going up. For China, the entire period from February 7 through March 9 may see increased focus on finance, rates, debt, currency value and even announcements of some economic reforms or changes that may affect banks, stock market and lending. On March 9 and 10, we may see increased news about healthcare, workforce, real estate, land value, farming and food supplies. We may hear about some new assertive initiatives that aim to increase the value of profits from these areas. Let's talk about the preview for the rest of the March. On 17th and 18th, there may be increased focus on banks, currencies, crypto, forex, earnings and real estate. There may be greater than usual fluctuations in crypto and currency exchange rates, especially euro and USD. Some digital assets, bank stocks or other bank assets may shoot up in value but then quickly come down. So potentially March 17th and 18th may see them going up and then crashing down on March 20th through 23rd. On the 20th through the 23rd of March, there's an increased probability of accidents, disasters, power outages, service outages and disruptions which may involve social media platforms and air travel. We may hear about strong winds, storms, problems caused by lightning or fires, sudden airstrikes, drone attacks and generally damages or sudden losses because of the turbulations in the air. So this could be due to weather, accidents or actual attacks. Additionally, there may be upsetting news related to banks, currencies, crypto, forks and real estate. These may involve excessive volatility, service disruptions, unpredictable changes, sudden value drop, etc. Concerns about the sudden changes or the lack of stability may spook the investors. In particular, crypto value may go down. In time, we will have a difficult transit of square between Mars and Uranus. With Uranus being in Taurus, we will definitely expect either cryptocurrencies or banks to be affected. Then on the 21st through 23rd, we will have a transiting Mercury approaching Neptune and Pisces. And at that time, we may expect increased focus on oil, gas, pharmaceuticals, navy, excessive precipitation, etc. Together, given all of these various difficult transits, March 21st through 23rd may see a large market drop. Another large market drop can be expected on March 28th, which is a Monday. That's because we will have multiple difficult transits. We will have Moon, Venus and Saturn conjuncting together in Aquarius. Typically, this corresponds with concerns about cash availability, financial restrictions and or some delays involving financial data processing. For example, payments are delayed because additional verification is required or the funds cannot be released. Finally, on the 31st of March, we're going to have new moon with Saturn square moon nodes and Jupiter being within two degrees of Neptune. Developments under that new moon will give us some idea of things to come in early April, especially around April 4th and 5th, which look really tense. With new moon and into early April, we can expect a major shakeup, perhaps a quake, loss of structural integrity, plane crash, financial loss due to restructuring or layoffs, etc. There may also be news about the really major floods, oil, chemical, gas leaks, contamination, problems with pharmaceuticals or drugs, or increased laws and changes in the regulations around those areas. For China, the end of March, especially especially March 24th through 31st also look difficult. That's because transiting Mars is going to be opposing Mars and then Pluto in the seventh house of China's chart. At that time, expect problems or conflicts with partners, tense negotiations, weapons deals, accidents, especially involving fires, explosions, excessive heat or excessive speed. With this, I'm going to wrap up this video. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great week.